Tov, good morning. Today is Friday, April 28th. Erev Shabbat, Parshat, Kedacharimot, and Kedoshim. In the midst of this parsha, in chapter 19, verse 16, the Torah puts out to us a really hard mitzvah to follow. It seems quite simple, but it ain't. Says the, says the Torah, Lo Do not go about as a uh, peddler of gossip amongst your people. Um, don't stand on your brother's blood on the Adonai. I am God. What do we have here? This uh, this discussion about about lo telech rachil. So says the Rambam. Ezehu rachil zeshato ein devarim beholech mizelaze. We're talking about a person who who kind of schleps words around with him, and he goes from one person to the other. Ve Omer kacham arploni. He says, you know, I you know, this is you know you should know. So and so, you know, so and so said the following, or kachva kachsha mati al ploni. Thus and thus, I've I've uh, I've heard about ploni. That is a rach, that's a rachil, someone who peddles in information, a gossip, a yenta. I always feel bad, you know that I, I, we actually looked up uh, this, the, the supposed etymology of the name yenta. It might actually come to a, an, a to a word that's related to the word gentle, gentle, yentel, right? It was a statement about a person's fineness. But once once Fiddler on the Roof uh, gave the name Yenta to the person who does just this, going around, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear that? Um, no more. You can't call anybody Yenta and, and have it be a nice name. But that's what it is. It's the Yenta. We know we understand it very well. We should know, he says, even though whatever you're saying is true, it's still prohibited. It helps destroy the world. The Ram in the previous um, halacha actually discusses the fact that um, it's, that, that's possible. Who go reim laharog nefashot rabot mi Yisrael? You could be the cause of many people dying without even really realizing exactly what you're doing. That's what the Torah adds. Don't stand idly on your brother's blood. Um, it's the equivalent of loose lips sink ships. Just uh, walking around and you say things about people because you're just blah, 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 blah. And somebody is going to get hurt. Someone could get hurt. You might even have, you don't have an ill intent. You don't have it at all. You just want to share. You love living in other people's lives and other people's news. And you pass it around. He discusses the case of Doeg, the Edomite. We'll look at that another time, exactly how that applies. So the Rambam actually tells us there are three categories. Rachilut, gossiping, tail-bearing, is, is the general category. And that's, again, even if it's true, and even if it's power of information. So-and-so got into college, so-and-so, right? So you say, it's fine. We know the difference between, oh, did you hear? That's all, all, all automatically shifts Add the tone and you and you and you and you chop the issue there. Um, the Rambam goes on to say, There's a sin that's greater than this simply being a talebearer. Vuhu bichlal lab ze, and it's part of this uh, on this category. Vuhu lashon hara, that is evil speech. Vuhu hamesaper biginut chaveiro. That's someone who tells specifically negative information about another person. Uh, did you hear so and so got thrown out of school? Did you hear so and so is uh, is is is, uh, is being brought up on charges, and they are being brought up on charges, right? That afal pi shomer emet. Even if what you're saying is true, it doesn't matter. That's an, that's a, that's a, uh, a a great sin to uh, spend your time in that conversation. Aval haomer sheker. On the other hand, if someone actually makes up falsehoods about another person, that is, is you know, a, a worse category than even the first two. That's called nikra motzi shem ra, someone who brings forth an evil name. You 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 uh, dis- disparage somebody's name, you defame them, and that is uh, that's the worst of them. That's the worst of them. We've had in the news the past few weeks that this, you know, that some of the issues that re- revolve around. The, the the Fox the Minion Fox News lawsuit and um, part of the issue there is that, that the Minion would need to have would have needed to prove that they were aware they would they were aware that what they were saying is false and have malice because that's the that's the bar that's necessary 
to, uh, to hold news organizations accountable for what they say. Knowledge of what they're saying is wrong and, 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 and intention to, uh, to cause harm in some way. So that's fine for the news organizations. But Motsi Shemra, um, and that's, that's probably in some form of Motsi Shemra. But uh, even if we, if, we, if we can't prove malice, it's still the Avera. It's still the Avera to make up lies about someone. And it destroys people. It destroys people. Um, but even if it's short of that, even if it's uh, even if it's true what you share and it's negative information, that also helps. Dis- that really does bring about destruction in the world. And the Rambam goes on to tell us you should be you should be aware of the fact that um, that that everyone is everyone is profoundly hurt by what uh, by what happens here when people speak lashon hara. Um, lashon hara, he says, kills three people. These are all basically quotations from the from Gemara in different places. The one who speaks it the one who listens to it, and, of course, the one about whom it is spoken. Everyone is damaged, um, and, everyone's, and everyone's found guilty for what they've done. Obviously, the one who's spoken about it is not. But someone who, <coughs> who receives Lashon Hara, they too, they too have, um, have both been hurt by it and bear responsibility because it becomes the listener's job to say, I'd rather not hear any more information. Please stop. Please stop talking about this. That's really hard, my friends. It is not simple. Not easy to, to turn to somebody who is ready to share something juicy with you and to be able to say, let's talk about something of import. How about some ideas? How about some ideas? Let's talk about ideas instead of talking about people. And the world would be a lot better place if we were able to do that. Kiddush would be better. Um, and um, all of our conversations with a person was able to say, I got enough confidence to talk about ideas. They might very likely were less likely. They're less, they're less, less likely to talk about other people. Think of good imp- important conversations. Replace them with the ones you might have about another person. Let's all, all help build the world together. Wishing you all a Shabbat Shalom.